So pre-season finally ended for Bournemouth in the last episode and we finished it in style. I helped guide them to the trophy of the pre-season tournament with three solid performances in my final three games, an assist for a Callum Wilson goal in the final group stage game, an assist for Pina's stoppage time winner in the semi-final v Zaragoza, and also scoring the opening goal of the game in the final against Anzi, where the side won by four goals to one. However, sadly it wasn't all good news of course, I did get an injury towards the end of that game and was ruled out for a couple of weeks, but fortunately for me I managed to recover on time for a couple of training sessions before the first game of the season. There are some decent players in this Bournemouth side, but Betty Howe has faith in me to be his star playmaker for the year, despite my young age and lack of experience, and I believe I can repay that faith and help the side have a fantastic season for their debut year in the Premier League. We take on Aston Villa for the first and only game of today's episode of the Vitality Stadium for the Premier League season opener. Of course, in real life, Tim Sherwood's side claimed all three points within the game. We'll be hoping to be the side to get the victory. For my competitive debut, I'll be desperate for a good performance, but as always, the most important thing is the result. Let's get off to a great start and deliver the three points for Bournemouth on the opening day of the season. Here's Matt Ritchie for Bournemouth, inside towards Harry Arter. No chances to report so far as Arter gets onto the ball and finds Matt Ritchie. Back towards Francis down the right hand side. Now Arter on the ball, might need some help, so I'll call for it and play it inside towards Pina. Pina on the ball, has Distan in support if he wants to centre back or play it through towards myself. He'll give it to me. I'm round my man here, possible chance. I'm forced backwards though towards uh, Harry Arter. Arter back to me. I'll play it through towards Francis who drills it across to the far post and Adsu should have put the ball in the back of the net. What a great chance for the Chelsea. Loney. Nice little build up, good drill cross to the far post but Christian Atsu fires the shot wide and it's still goalless. Sanchez back to Alan Hutton and Villa playing a bit dangerously here as Richards gives it to Amavi and I'm piling on the pressure but Villa are coping with it as it comes to Amika Richards and they'll pass it around the back and that's the one frustrating thing, I say the one frustrating thing, the most frustrating thing about this year's FIFA is that the AI don't feel pressure, they never ever ever feel like they're under any kind of pressure regardless of how much you're putting on, like right now we're playing a bit of a press on them but they're just moving the ball around as if we're not even there, like honestly we're, we're putting, we're putting the pressure on we're getting close to them they're just spreading the play around as if we're not even on the pitch it's so frustrating and that was a terrible challenge and that could possibly be a red card that was so bad from Pina that could be a red card I would not be surprised if that is a straight red card it is wow What's the point, man? Why would you lunge in and dive in like that from behind? 36 minutes in, they're in their own half. Why would you do that? First of all, why is my player complaining? Why is he sarcastically clapping? Why did you do that? What on earth did he do that for? Why did Pina do that? I mean, honestly, that is just a disgraceful challenge. And I don't even know why my player's complaining. I don't know why he's sarcastically clapping. That was just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And we're down to 10 men in the first half. Just stupid. Stupid. It's completely stupid, completely needless, and now the game is going to get a lot more difficult for us, as if it wasn't difficult enough already. Jesus, man, what on earth are you doing? It's Jordan Amavi for Villa, through towards Sarhan, down the left-hand side, takes it around Matt Ritchie, good chance here for Villa, cross comes into the far post, and it's off the post, and it'll fall to Sanchez, who also hits the post as well, and it's cleared away by Dan Gosling. Villa striking the woodwork twice on the stroke of half-time, twice, twice on the stroke of half-time, but thankfully for us at half-time, the score will remain nil-nil, a big, big escape for us right there. We're down to 10 minutes at half-time after that stupid challenge by Pina. It's going to be a very difficult second half, playing with a man disadvantage, but as things stand at half-time, as you can see, it is Bournemouth nil, Aston Villa nil. Relatively uneventful first half, despite the ball hitting the woodwork twice there in a couple of seconds, and of course us being down to 10 men, but either way, not the best of first halves, and it could get even tougher in the second half. I think the draw is probably the best result we can get from this game now. Oh, that's a good interception by Arta now and a possible chance on the break as Arta gives it to me. I'll try and get around Jody and Lescott and I beat him with a fake shot. And what a chance here as Sanchez comes back. Can I get past him? Sanchez tackles me down into a box. That's a penalty, surely? Yes, penalty to Bournemouth. Sanchez takes me down and a possible chance from the spot to make it Bournemouth 1, Aston Villa 0. Sanchez took me down. I took it around Jody and Lescott, tried to take it around Sanchez. He slid in. He did get the ball, but only after taking my feet out first. And I think the referee he's called that one right because you see here I do the fake shot try and get round him and you can see he clips the feet before he gets the ball I mean he's handling the ball really anyway although I've got handballs off either way I think that's a penalty in my opinion the referee gives us one and what a chance to make it 1-0 from the spot and Sanchez's last involvement in the game is giving away a penalty what a chance for us to win the game from the spot with 13 and a half minutes to go despite having 10 men from the penalty it's Callum Wilson and he puts it down the middle and makes it Bournemouth 
one, Aston Villa nil, and we take the lead with just over 13 minutes to go. Get in, absolutely fantastic, and we may win on the opening day of the Premier League season, despite going down to 10 men in the first half. Callum Wilson converting the penalty, which I won off Carlos Sanchez. Bournemouth one, Aston Villa nil. Who needs Pina? We can do it without him. We can do it with 10 men. We take the lead. Get in. Come on, Bournemouth. Going to be working like a dog for the remainder of the game as Alan Hutton receives the ball. Plays it through towards Ashley Westwood. Westwood inside to his teammate. Sinclair goes for goal. Just wide of the post and behind for a goal kick. But in the second half, they've done basically nothing, Aston Villa. They really have not looked fussed at all. And we still lead by a goal to nil. Free kick to Aston Villa in stoppage time. What a chance for them to possibly grab themselves an equalising goal with maybe the final chance of the game. What an opportunity here. Not sure who's taking it. It's going to be Mika Richards who's going to take this free kick for Aston Villa. And a possible chance for them here as they're going to lay the ball off, I think, by Amavi towards... I'm uh, not sure who that was, but a shot goes over the bar and behind for a goal kick. And Villa have wasted the final chance of the game, surely. And we look as though we're going to hold on for a massive three points on the opening day of the season despite playing most of the game with 10 men as Gradell goes down the left hand side here for Bournemouth he's got the pace on his man here can he play me through what a chance here I'll try and take it around my man I'm inside what a chance to seal the three points and have hit the post oh no what a chance to seal the three points for me to get my first goal in the Premier League on my debut and I've hit the post it's not gonna matter though I'm fist pumping the air because we've got the win we've won it by a goal to nil I may not have put the icing on the cherry on the cake, as I would say, with a goal right at the end. But we have won the game. Callum Wilson converting a penalty, which I won off Carlos Sanchez. And that was after we, that we went down to 10 men in the first half, after Pina was dismissed for a straight red card, which was the correct decision. But that man will get the plaudits. He's, he converted the penalty, which I won. We win the game. And on the opening day of the season, the final score is 10 men of form of one, Aston Villa nil. What a fantastic start to the season delighted with that and we get the three points on the opening day and I'm so pleased with that man seriously because after Pina's red card I felt for sure the best we could do is a draw but instead we get the three points and that is just fantastic. I have to say, I'm very disappointed about the match rating for me though. I got a 6.4. I didn't give the ball away once with my passing. Only lost possession three times. And I got the penalty for the goal. I hit the post in stoppage time. I thought I played really well, to be honest. I'm not trying to be too biased or anything, but I thought I played really well. I was hoping for a, maybe a high 6 or possibly a low 7. That's a bit of a surprise, a 6.4. But the most important thing is the three points though. So I guess we won't be too disappointed. As you can see with the match stats here, Villa did play a little bit better than us, a tinty tiny bit more possession and two more shots as well. But the most important thing was the goal though, we got it, Villa didn't and we won in the opening game of the season. What a fantastic start, delighted with that and a really, really good way to start the Premier League season with Bournemouth. A 1-0 victory against Aston Villa on the opening day of this season, despite going down to 10 men early on in the first half. Absolutely delighted with that. It's a brilliant start with Bournemouth, and despite the media predicting us finishing in 20th place, I think we can far succeed that, and I'm definitely going to be aiming for a Europa League place come the end of the season with Bournemouth. Maybe a bit ambitious, but I definitely believe we can do so, and if I'm performing to my best ability, I don't see why we can't get that. But that does it in the episode, guys, so thank you very much for watching the video. Really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's episode of My Player, then please do leave a like, much appreciate it really to top my channel out and we'll be back for the next episode very soon we'll be taking on Liverpool away at Anfield and West Ham away at Upton Park